I was just taste testing. I want to make sure I had enough salt. Welcome back to Cooking with Christine, where the ingredients are made up and the dinner doesn't matter. Okay, tonight we're making one of our family's absolute favorite dinners. It is bacon cheeseburger meatloaf. Once I tried this recipe, I have not gone back to any other meatloaf recipe ever because it's so delicious. So I'm doubling it now because I'm going to make one for a freezer meal for later. Um, but the amounts I'm going to give you are what you would do just for one serving. So one pound of ground beef. I've got 93 lean. I have two pounds to which we will add a couple of different things. I've got 10 slices of cooked chopped bacon and it goes. I love you bacon. Two whole eggs. Obviously I'm using four. I've got a quarter cup of mayonnaise. You can use light if you want. That's fine. I don't know why you would. I have a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. Uh, I have Italian flavored, but any kind will work. One tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Wor Worcestershire. How do you say it, Dave? Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. Yum. And then I believe it's a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Just black pepper. You do not need to add any salt because of the salt in the bacon and the salt in the cheese that we will be adding. Eight ounces of cheese is good. I don't know that I've ever actually added the full eight ounces. I just kind of throw in what looks good. Um, so, I don't know. That's, I mean, it's a lot of cheese. That looks good. That's definitely not the full amount, but you can always add more later, but you can't take it out. No. Now, the secret ingredient, ketchup and mustard. I've got a third of a cup of ketchup and a quarter cup of mustard. I used whole grain because that's all I have, but any kind is fine. And you're gonna stir it together. So after you stir it together, half of it will go inside and then the other half will be spread over the top. So don't dump it all in right now. It's glove time. And just get in there and just give it one big massage until it's all combined. Okay, after you're done mixing and putting into your loaf pans, they do not need to be greased, we are going to top with the rest of our sauce right here. So since I have two, I'll put half on one and half on the other. That's what it's going to look like. And we're gonna stick it in a 350 degree oven for 40 minutes, at which point we will top with French fried onions and stick it back in for another 15. Finished product. We've got corn, mashed potatoes, bacon cheeseburger meatloaf, and red lobster cheese, garlic, what are they? Garlic cheddar biscuits? I don't know. Anyway, that's dinner. <laughs> Hungry? Can we point out that your meatloaf does never stay together? It's not just, it's not this recipe. It might be you. What are you saying? I love it. It tastes so good. Thanks for watching uh, one of the recipes for one of our family's absolute favorite dinners. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss any of the fun. I'll see you guys later.